Well, a very good evening and welcome to a sellout Edgeley Park with Stockport County sitting top of the tree at Christmas. Tonight marks the start of a challenging festive period with three of the next four games against rivals in the top six. But it is just one defeat in 17 now for Stockport County in League Two following last weekend's stunning 8-0 win over Sutton United. Set Noyle to take this one. It's going to be an outswinging corner this time. And the big men are queued up at the back of the six-yard box. Burns in there, and it's taken short, though. And there's the shot, and there's the goal! And he's scored against his former club. It's Carl Watton who drives it home from close range. A brilliantly worked corner from Noyle, and County lead 1-0. And uh, Williams heavily linked with the return to his former club, where he used to be the assistant. He still lives in Swansea as well, which is... a. Uh, a big pull, one would imagine. Here's Langstaff. It's a great ball to pick him out, and he's got pace to burn. Crosses it towards McGoldrick. Super defending from Neil Byrne. He couldn't afford to get that one wrong. Sliding in to deny McGoldrick what would have been, well, virtually an open goal, Sam. The goalkeeper now, Stone, bringing it to the edge of his penalty area. Aidan Stone kept a, a clean sheet in the playoff final against Mansfield for Port Vale a couple of years ago. Aidan Stone, like uh, the man in front of him, started out in a different position. He was a centre-half till the age of 14. Here come Notts County again, surging forward. The shot from distance off target. Just dragged that one wide, Jody Jones. But he's a lively player, the Maltese international winger. He'd look to bend it away, but uh, surely Crowley will shoot. Oh, he stepped over it, allowing Jones to whip it in. Completely unmarked on the edge of the six-yard box was Langstaff with his back to goal. And he's tried to back heel it in. That's a really interesting tactical switch Dave Challen has made, moving Ethan Pye into midfield and reverting to a back four. How will it work for County as they look to see out this first half with, it, uh, with that lead intact? It's Brindley down the right flank. I think the cross took a deflection, but that made it very awkward for Ben Hinchliffe as it bounced in front of him. And he looks so nervous then as he turns it over the crossbar. Ethan Pye in the end with the clearance. Right. It's a poor header from Akil Wright, but then Bostock runs into his own player and Paddy Madden steals. And what a pass with the outside of the right boot to find Kyle Watton, who's bearing it on goal. It's saved by the keeper. Brilliant from Madden. Watton denied. County corner. County corner. Right-footed outswinger. There's the header. Scramble on the line oh. and Madden stabs it wide of the upright. County are appealing for a penalty here, though, Sam. Yeah, it's on the line. It's John, it's got to be. I'm, I'm looking back at it. It's... It's Richard Brindley on the goal line who almost elbows it off, off the line from the header. It was going into the back of the net. And the main steps over it. It will be Jones. He's played it along the deck this time. Hooked in then by Austin. Completely missed. And there's a flag up. It won't count. Knots think they've equalised. It's offside, yeah. But it's, it's not going to count. If it follows this pattern for the remainder, that they'll get themselves back into it. But it's a difficult one because best team... I mean, they haven't worked the goalkeeper enough for me, and you can certainly see how the fans will get frustrated with that. They might do now, but again, cleared by Horsfall. It comes out to Jones, he'll shoot from here on his left. Tries to dink it to the far post, and it's uh, off target again. As Langstaff arrived, couldn't guide it in. Again, I'm not sure whether Jones has gone for goal or whether it's a cross, but and he's not going to be the only change. I think Nick Powell is coming on as well and that's a change that makes sense in a game like this oh Ben Hinchliffe stayed at home Ethan Pye's been caught out here by Namain Namain with a chance to pull it back it's off the line the shot from McGoldrick off the line from Byrne but Ben Hinchliffe's got to come and take charge of that situation he's having a go at Ethan Pye but for me it's a keeper's ball all day did he play the, the best footballer on the eye yes the pass county, as I say, off the park at times, and they have not given county a sniff of possession, but they just are not working. Ben Hinchley at the moment. Here's Paddy Madden, found a little pocket of space on the left wing. 
He's got Torre on the overlap, use him as a decoy, comes inside, tries his luck from distance, blocked by Brindley, ricochets kindly for Bailey, out to Torre now. Torre's got two for company, needs the support of Bailey. Bailey will try and cross this, but again, the defender blocks off the route to goal, goes back to Ethan Pye, down the line, it's a good ball from young Ethan Pye to pick out Torre. Torre has isolated Nemain this time, checks one way, then the other, plays it towards the edge of the box, lovely touch from Pye again to find Camps. Very little back lift. Good disguise on the shot. Torre is given away. away. McGoldrick trying to work it onto his left. Brilliantly read by Madden. He knew what his Irish compatriot was going to do. Cleared by Hinchlip up towards halfway. Oh, it's a poor to Oh, the substitute has fallen over the ball. And now County can spring a counter-attack with Bailey. He'll square it for Richardson. Got to who should have scored, but is that a push? The referee's given it. Terribly clumsy on this near side from the substitute Adebayo. And will the referee show a red? It's a yellow card. John, it's not an effort, it's not an attempt to play the ball, is it? So Cameron. my understanding was. No. But I mean, it's so sloppy from Knox County. You said it, John, he falls over his own feet. County break forward, the ball's in for Richardson. He cannot get the shot off. It's Cameron that's all over him. And can Stockport County put this game to bed? Looking for his tenth of the season. And he sent the keeper the wrong way. Stockport County have doubled their lead. It's County 2, not County 0. So interested to hear the comments of Dave Challen, who is on his feet now, but not for long. Listen to the County fans. It's taken that second goal to give them the lift. Yeah, and to be fair to the home fans, I, I was critical of the, the atmosphere earlier on, but that, that spell that Knotts had earlier on, I'll leave it to you, John. McGoldrick, edge of the box, pass one, pass two, inside the area, and touched is. it into the bottom corner beautifully. Well, we have got a nervy finish, two and a half to play, as McGoldrick reduces the arrears to 2-1. Yeah, I said they hadn't worked Ben Hinchup enough, but McGoldrick dances through the county defence and slots it away. County, two minutes, they have to hang on. I do not know why we're playing past the five minutes, John. There is he's, look just lo he's looked at his watch again. What for? Everyone's pointing at the stadium clock. And now he blows his whistle after an additional 30 seconds. But anyway, County have won. It was a nervy victory at times. But Stockport County cement their place at the top of the tree for Christmas. Congratulations to Dave Challoner and his team. Tactically, it was a masterclass from County. And a lesson in defending.